Hey everyone, welcome back to channel and today I have a Kali Linux tutorial. Now I'm going to be starting this series where I'm going to review all the tools within Kali Linux and I'm going to try to explain each of them as to what they do and what is the purpose of those tools. Now if you're new to this channel and if you don't know what Kali Linux is, it's a Linux distribution where it includes a variety of hacking tools or pen testing tools. So if you want to get started, I'm going to leave the link down in the description for you guys to head over to the site, download Kali Linux, and I highly suggest that you should install it as a virtual machine using VirtualBox or VMware. That is totally up to you and it's optional. I do have a couple of videos on how to install it. So if you want to go over to my playlist or videos or to make it easier, I'll link that down below in the description as well. So don't worry about that. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for stopping by, for tuning in again. And like I said, we're going to look at some Kali Linux tools. I'm going to start a series on how to, you know, use them. And we're pretty much, or I'm going to review all of them. I'm going to try my best to review all of them to put them in practice. I'm also going to try to explain what is the purpose, you know, the details and objective of each of these tools. So if you are interested in this series, then hit that bell. That way you're gonna get notified on future videos on this series that I'm going to do. So the first thing that we're going to look at here, it's the information gathering. Now, in my opinion, that is the most important process or step in a penetration testing phase. And that is because in this phase, when you try to gather as much information about the target, the more you know about the system or the network, the more possibilities you will get to perform different types of attacks. And more than likely, there's going to be a way to bypass certain security controls or even security gaps. So like I said, it's really important that you gather as much information about the target because the more you know, the more you can do with all that data. In this case, I'm talking about using different types of tools to find that security hole and penetrate that network or system. So let's start with DNS analysis. So for those that don't know what DNS is, it's a domain naming service. So we're going to use this tool, which is called DNS enumeration or for short enum. So we're going to use that tool all you have to do here is just click on it. But simply what we're going to do is that we're going to query a host name for all types of information. In this case, we're going to query for subdomains and C names, A records, text records, I mean, you name it. And before I go a little bit more into detail into this tool here or what it does or what kind of results you're going to get from, let's go ahead and open this up. So again, this tool, we're going to use it to gather as much information about a host name when it comes to their DNS. I recall I did a video on something similar with this and I believe it was a tool called Sublister. Now, if I find that video, I'm going to leave the link down in the description because I thought that tool was pretty cool. It gives you all types of information. So I'm going to list that below if I find it. Now, in order to use this tool, which is called DNS and Noom, it's very simple to use and the usage is pretty much, like I said, DNS and num or num. I don't know how you pronounce that, right? So, okay, so the next thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to issue that command, which is DNS and num, and we're simply going to use some of these options. And in this case, I'm going to use the dash dash DNS server so that I can query a DNS server for a name servers and MX queries. So all that information is highly important for you to gather just to see what else is available for that host name. Now for the host name today, we're going to be using Facebook. Let's just use facebook.com and we're going to use a DNS. So I'm going to put that address. And for those that know what DNS server I'm using, please comment down below. And the address that I'm talking about is 8.8.8.8. .8 so again, if you know what DNS server this is, comment down below. Now again, you should have this command here if you want to query a host name and enumerate all the DNS information of it. So we're going to use this command. And once you have this command in your terminal, all you need to do here is hit enter. So the first information that we get from this tool is the host addresses. 
And the second information that we get, it's the name servers. We also have the mail servers for Facebook, which is SMTP in dot VVV dot Facebook dot com. We also trying to look at zone transfers and getting bind versions. Now, I'm not totally familiar with this part of the information or this information here, but the next one that we are going to look at, it's brute forcing subdomains of Facebook by using a DNS text file. Now, the importance of enumerating all these subdomains is because each subdomain belongs to a certain site or a certain page or a certain application, which in this case, it could be an FTP site. It can also be some internal site to Facebook that only employees have access or only employees from a specific organization that you're enumerating the DNS information that could be a portal to an internal tool within that organization. Well, in this case, I'm talking about Facebook. So it's really important. And as you can see, we have several subdomains that have been enumerated by using that brute force, using that text file. So what you can do at this point is that you can pretty much gather even more information. Let's say you want to launch a port scan on that specific subdomain. And in some cases, you're going to find that that subdomain or that subpage of whatever organization you're doing a DNS information gathering from, you could find that is vulnerable because there's certain ports that are open and there's certain services that are not secure and they're vulnerable in this case, FTP. I mean, it's not secure. If you put in your credentials, obviously those are going to be in plain text. So, so in this scenario, it would be susceptible to man in the middle attacks. And just to mention very quick, there are other DNS analysis tools within Kali Linux that you can also use, but ultimately all these tools, when it comes to DNS information gathering, they're all have the same objective, which is querying DNS information from a host name so that you can explore all that data and then come up with attack vectors. So really important. Like I said, the more information you have about a target, the more possibilities you have of performing a penetration testing or penetration test, and you never know, you might be successful. And if anyone knows about a separate tool that you've been using and it's a lot better than the ones that are installed in Kali Linux, please let me know down in the comments. I know I have mentioned the tool called Sublister and I believe I already made a video of it. So if I find it again, I'm going to link that down below in the description. So that is it, you guys. That is it for DNS analysis for today. And it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. And in my opinion, these tools are good but not great because I think they're lacking a little bit more information. And in this case, I'm talking about the type of services that each of these subdomains are running, which in this case, it could be a web server, a file transfer site, or it could be running a VPN on it. So on our next series for this Kali Linux tutorial, we're going to be looking at the following tools, which is going to be the IDS and the IPS identification. Can somebody tell me what is an IDS and an IPS and what is the difference? If you know that, please leave a comment down below so that everyone that doesn't know can get up to speed before I release the next video. Again, you guys, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you're going to like this series that I'm doing. And if you do, please hit that like button. Make sure to hit that bell if you want to get notified on the future videos of this series. Again, if you feel like you know somebody that will like this content, please share it. And again, you guys, don't change it. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. Thank you.